So that's another really good question when we, we talk about is the experience of anxiety and depression a result of just experiencing these sensory symptoms. Meaning if you gave these sensory symptoms, let's say, to anybody uh, with just the visual symptoms, would they also experience the depression and anxiety? And that is not an easy answer, but I do have a, an opinion about that as a clinician scientist and as a clinician. I believe it's part of the syndrome, so part of the brain networks that are not functioning in the usual manner that give you those visual symptoms and non-visual symptoms, I believe that those networks also are involved in anxiety and in depression. And those are really a result of the brain network dysfunction and not just a response to having visual snow throughout your, your visual field and having all these other uh, visual symptoms associated with that. I think that there, the association is too strong to be separated and reviewed as only a response to the experience.